Welcome back to Hartford Hawks basketball with Coach Jen Rosati getting ready for the Stony Brook game, an America East Conference game coming up here on CPTV Sports. I want to take a few minutes right now to meet uh, your sophomore mm -hmm. out of Delaware, uh, Milana Gilbert, who comes from a basketball playing family. She yes. likes to play the drums a little bit and clearly a family of faith, which is important to her. Yes, uh, she, you know, she's such a grounded individual and you can tell that she gets that from her parents when you meet her parents that although basketball is important to their her, their family obviously with her brothers playing as well um, you know they have they sent their kids off to uh, boarding school they all kind of learned what it was like to live away from home they went to the academy a new church so they they understand what it means to know that there's more out there than just basketball and uh, it, it, I think it allows her to keep the faith when things aren't going her way and to continue to work hard and kind of make things go her way and so she's one of the nicest human beings we've ever had in the program and, and I feel blessed to have have her here and have her family be a part of ours. Let's meet Milana Gilbert and our Manchester Honda player profile. Make no mistake the Gilberts are a basketball family. Three kids all good enough to play at the Division I level in college. The oldest Milana for the Hartford women, her brother Malcolm now a freshman at Pittsburgh with younger brother Marcus finishing high school before plans to play here in-state at Fairfield starting next season. I mean, we would play against each other to make each other better, but it was never any, like, rivalry or anything. We always work hard against each other, push each other, and make each other better. Having been the first of the three kids in the family to make the jump from high school hoops to college hoops, Milana had some sound advice for her brothers. I told them to choose a school that's going to fit them as an individual. And for Pitt, for Malcolm, it felt like, you know, the coach was great for him. Um, he loved the school, he loved the atmosphere, and it felt like it was a great, for, great fit for him individually. Same with my younger brother, Marcus. And I just, you know, because Hartford, I chose it because it felt great for me as a person. Because ultimately, you're the, you're the last one to make that final decision. So I tell him, you know, it's business as well as fun. You got to be able to balance both out. You know, have fun because you're only here for four years. And then also do what you have to do every day. Do what the coaches are asking you to do every day. Come out, you know, work hard, give effort, you know, be tough and do what you're supposed to do at, on the floor. And um, just to stay focused because at this level, you know, it takes a lot of mental focus and mental toughness. And physically, you know, your mind, if you start with your mind, then your body's going to follow. There were many factors in Milana's choice to join the Hawks, starting with the head coach. Jennifer Rosati and her staff are awesome. I mean, the moment I came here for my official visit and I sat and talked with the coaches, with my father, I mean, I felt a connection. She's a great coach. She knows what she's doing. I mean, she learned from the best, which is Gina Oriyama from UConn. And I love the atmosphere, you know, I love my teammates, I love the social life here. Um, the academically, it's great, so that's what drew me to come here to you, Hart. She's been with us, um, and I think it's starting to, you know, get to the flow of where we, we, where we see her being, in, you know, in the next two, two years. Winter is a busy time for the Gilbert family with three different basketball schedules of great interest to mom and dad, Yara and Chuck Gilbert. I was talking to my dad probably like three months ago before our season started and he um, he said he had to make one calendar schedule with three different basketball schedules on it so it's kind of it's kind of time consuming but they love it you know it gives them time to travel and stuff like that so they just basically divide it up of whenever time they can come see Malcolm Marcus and I play. Up next on the show are Coca-Cola top scholars the junior the former Miss New Hampshire basketball Alex Hall. Plus another coach's tip from uh, Coach Rosati. And later, a look at the importance of conditioning and weightlifting for the team. All that and more next on Hartford Hawks Basketball with Jen Rosati.